Hi everybody, Nicole here. I recently shared this interactive timeline that I created using PowerPoint with the Articulate community, and I thought I would record a short screencast to show you all how I pulled it together. As you can see, when I hover over the different areas of the timeline, information and images become visible. This is all made possible using PowerPoint's actions. So let me show you how I did this. So here I am on a blank slide in a new PowerPoint project. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the View tab and open the Slide Master. Here, I'm going to delete the placeholder items on this master slide, and instead I'll add a staggered row of colorful rectangles, which represent the items on my timeline. I'm also adding in a gray header rectangle with a title and some simple instructions. The reason I'm putting these on the Slide Master is to save time and make it easier to recolor my timeline down the road, if need be. When I'm done adding these items, I exit the Slide Master. Now, the functionality that I want to achieve is that when they hover over each column in the timeline, it shows them specific information associated with that column. So to do that, I'm going to create one new slide for each item in the timeline. So to do this, I'm going to duplicate this first slide. And now when I hover over a timeline item, I want my other items to be blurred out. So I will add a semi-transparent rectangle over top of this entire slide, which will act as my blur. And then I will also assign an action to this rectangle. The action hyperlinks to slide one when the user mouses over the background rectangle. Now, with the background blur in place, you can duplicate this slide five more times. So in the end, you have a total of seven slides, your main slide, and then six slides with the blurred white background. The next thing we'll do is set up the items on our timeline. We're going to go back to the Slide Master and grab all of these shapes and copy them. This is done so that we can save time using the copy and paste feature. We'll close out of the Slide Master and we will paste these objects onto slide one. Next, we'll add a semi-transparent rectangle across the center of our timeline. For each column, we will copy and paste the corresponding colored rectangle and the white semi-transparent rectangle and paste them onto the corresponding layer. We will do this for each column in the timeline. When we've done this for each slide, we can delete the shapes that we've pasted onto slide once since we no longer need them. My next step is to add a text box over each column in the timeline. For this example, I'm using years as my markers on my timeline. So I create my first text box and I size it appropriately. And then I use copy and paste to duplicate it across the rest of my columns. When all of my text boxes are in place, I assign an action to each one. The action will hyperlink to the corresponding slide when the mouse hovers over the text box. I do this for each text box, one at a time. My next step is to copy and paste all of the text boxes onto every slide. Finally, I need to style each individual slide. So to do this, I'll do a couple of things, including adding some additional information or text. And you might also want to add in some photos or characters, like in the example that I posted in the community. In this example, I'm also deleting the text in all the other text boxes so that they are less visible and it's the column that you're hovering over that really stands out. I am leaving the text boxes there and not deleting them because I want the actions associated with them to still be functional. I do this for each slide. When you've updated all six slides, you can head on over to the Articulate tab on the ribbon to preview your interactive timeline. And voila! As you can see, when you hover over the columns, the appropriate slides with the information are displayed. So this shows you how using the appropriate actions, you can use PowerPoint to create something fun and interactive. Thanks for watching.